I'm Virginia McGaffey here on the floor at the CME Group reporting on the livestock market. Today, cattle really slipped. The futures uh, really uh, lost a little bit of ground that they gained yesterday, but it seems like that they're staying in that sharp channel uh, it, that uh, was established in early April. We have been in uh, a very tight channel ever since the talks of the U.S.-China uh, tariff um, you know, war going on it has got the market moving completely sideways. The traders just don't know which way to go. We're still looking for um, not just technical news, but maybe fundamental news that we can break out of this channel, either on the upside or the downside. So we, the market has stayed right here. Uh, the feeders have been a little bit more volatile today. They were easier. It seems that the weak export sales were really weighing on futures. I know that the, um, the exports were down 30% from last week and 40% over the average of the last four weeks. Uh, that, you know, has given it some uh, a, a weaker look. And there has been a little more volatility to the feeders as opposed to the live cattle. But the channel remains the same. We're still moving sideways, not really breaking out either way on the upside or the downside. And we're, we're well into the grilling season now. We're, we would have expected a little more demand, at least domestically. It hasn't necessarily come or even offered anything to help these markets. Now, we know that the U.S. dollar index is a little bit lower today, but overall has been pretty strong. So that also could be putting, uh, could be putting a lid on the market. The hogs, on the other hand, did, did fall. There has been the funds uh, really uh, rolled their positions into the back months, and uh, that really pressed the market lower. And, it, and uh, the production has been down about uh, by 3% 3, 3 uh, for the projections for 2019. Uh, those kind of, uh, bear, that kind of bearish news really starts to weigh heavy on some of these markets. Uh, pork uh, export sales were down 5% uh, from last week as well. So these little things are, uh, you know, start to have traders a little bit nervous about really getting on board. And so liquidating some of their positions uh, really starts to put it lower. Although there has been selling fatigue overall from the past number of weeks with the hog market and with the grilling season upon us, you know, perhaps we can get a little bit of lift starting on Monday. So we're going to watch for that closely. That's all from the floor at the CME Group here in Chicago. I'm Virginia McGathy.